So we are visiting my ink shelf, and I don't really have like a good way to show this. So hold on. Hold on. Oops. There, that's a little better. I have it on my tripod, but like I can't. I don't have enough space to like keep the tripod stable, so I'm holding onto it. <laughs> but this is my ink shelf. So I have my. As in Ferris wheel press ink here, I have all my bottles of Arosha Zuku. Um, there's one behind these Colorverse uh, bottles. That's my um, Graph on Faber Castell Heroes of Cora. I have my Sailor uh, 50 States ink back there. Um, this is my um, Sailor Gentle collection. Um, some Vinta inks, some Mont Blanc inks, the Kala inks that I have, more Mont Blanc inks. The uh, Twisby Six Set Series, um, a bottle of Cross Violet, my standard bindery inks. I don't think there's anything hiding. No, nothing hiding there either. I got a couple holes. I have um, here. I have a row of Birmingham inks, um, some Organic Studios inks. Um, that's just the box from my uh, Birmingham pen. This is a bottle of ink from Miss Turtle. I just keep it in the box because then I can keep it in here. I have my ink that doesn't have a box in a separate spot. So, um, yeah, so I'll just kind of do a little thing here. I have a Sailor uh, uh, Shikiori ink. Um, this is, I don't know what this, I think this is Krishna ink. Yes, Krishna Magentum. This was a Hippo Noto exclusive. Um, I don't know why it's still in the box, just because it is. My little row of noodlers. My um, Darabon Emerald of Shavor. My couple of Pelican Edelstein. My one lone bottle of Nemesign ink. It's blue Snowball Nebula. Um, I had three bottles of this ink, and I sent a, I sent them two of them off to a friend who loves the inks. And will use them way more than me. Um, my Aurora Gray, my Twisby inks. Behind this, I have my Lamy inks, some KWZ, Waterman. Um, here's Diamine Earl Gray, Krishna Pencil, some, uh, what is it, Roaring Klingner, Document Black, my Ackerman inks, another Ferris Hill Press back there, and my Amethyst De Laurel, my uh, 17. 98 and then um, I will show you so that's the pan of the ink cabinet that's an empty bottle of Mont Blanc ink this was either lucky orange or oh yeah orange but it was uh, lucky orange and then I have um, the bottle that I had golden yellow in um, is now has ink in it so um, then now I will show you my drawer where I keep some of my other stuff. So hang on one second. Yep. Here is my drawer of ink. So I have anything that doesn't come in a box or that doesn't have a box anymore is in is basically in this um, drawer. Um, the reason that this Ferris wheel press is in here is because my bottle, the bottom of my bottle um, carton comes out so I have um, left it in there. So these are all my um, 30 mil dye mine bottles. I have a couple of Diatramentis bottles here, a Quisby wrench which actually belongs in there. Um, this is my bottle of Califolio. This is one of the dye mine shimmer tastic bottles that I keep it in. Um, a couple of black stone inks. I'm about to sneeze. A couple of Franklin Kristoff inks. Um, a knitting needle, um, my Robert Oster inks. Um, I just got my replacement bottle of Soda Pop Blue, so that's exciting. Um, a couple bottles of Pilot Blue because they came with my custom 823s. Um, this is just an empty bottle. Actually, I'm going to do this. Give that some room. Or maybe, what should I do? Do this. Give these guys a little room, a little breathing room. They'll probably tip the top all over now. Um, these are a bunch of pens that I just need to like use or clean. I just put them there so they could chill out. Um, like I said, these are all my Robert Oster inks, Pilot Blue, 
This is my bottle of Aurora Black that came with my Aurora pen. This is my other bottle of ink. It has Nemesign ALS Palace Red. Um, I took some and then sent, that's one of the bottles that I sent off to a friend. Um, I have um, Monteverde LA Pencho Burgundy, Monteverde Char Charolite, a 10 ml vial that should be over here, um, California Teal, um, Vortex Motion. I had both bottles of these and I sent the small one to a friend so I just took, I didn't need the big giant Colorverse box for one bottle of ink so I just took that out. The other Pilot Blue and then Diatramentis. This one is Purple Violet. And then I also have Alexander Hamilton. And then oh, my Tono and Limbs inks, my little Rubinia. This is just some packing material and washi tape and stuff. Um, this bin here I don't think I can really zoom in. I'm trying not to show my disgusting litter boxes, so, because um, the litter boxes are right over there, right there. Um, so this is just a little, um, this is just a little box I got it at Target that I just keep, um, like my stamp pad, um, some converters, my ink syringes, my little ink miser. I use this toothbrush for cleaning pens if I have to like clean the feed. Um, my bulb syringe, some washi tape, apparently some coins, um, a couple of lummy cartridges. Um, so this just kind of holds like tools and things. Oh, a pen sleeve. That's a rickshaw pen sleeve. I got it from um, Ink Journal. Really pretty. And then this bin here holds um, sample vials, this actually one up here, holds um, sample vials. I have vials that I'm sending to people. Um, these are some swatch cards that I made for inkswatch.com. If you haven't heard about that, uh, Chris had a great video about it. Um, her and her friend Matt have like created this website where they have tiles of all these inks. I've scanned them, but I need to like go through them and make sure they look like they're supposed to look before I send them. Um, this is a little plate that came with the kitty cat. Um, and then these are just ink samples that I am sending to people or have promised people and just haven't gotten around to mailing them. I also keep um, loose ink samples, like when I get an ink flight, if I haven't like done all the stuff I want to do with them, which usually I do that all on video, but if it's just I haven't put it in its own spot, this is like the landing page where it goes, this is like the landing spot where it goes before I put it in its final home. So just so it's not like all over the place. So. Um, yeah, so I can't remember who asked about my organization. I did not have an organization when they asked about it, but I've kind of created this for myself. I took over the ink drawer that's up, that's or the ink cabinet that's up there and made that my own thing. And then I have this here. Um, these are in the drawer because I don't want light to touch them um, and like ruin them and make them go bad or whatever. So I just keep them in this drawer. The only problem, this is a self-closing drawer. I need to maybe like put the bo ink bottles in the back because I have to, like it's so heavy up here that the self closer doesn't work. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna have to like rearrange how I have this, but um, I just haven't done that yet. I have an ink, this is my ink flight um, coloring for the current one. So um, my ink flight just shipped, so that will be coming soon, probably in the next week or so. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's my ink stuff. And one of the things that I want to do is I want to go through all of these inks, all of these inks and all the ones up there and just like kind of show you guys what I have and maybe talk about things that I like about them or if it's an ink that I haven't used real, a whole lot, um, just play with it and kind of tell you guys what I think about it or why I like it or why I got it. Um, and also update my Colodex stuff that I'm starting to do. So I think that will be like a fun little project to do a for myself but also with you guys so um i hope that you're looking forward to some of that stuff and um yeah if you are subscribe and click the little notification bell i think that's the first time i've mentioned the bell but you don't have to you can if you want to but you don't have to um but yeah so if you want to if you're interested in this sort of series thing that i'm planning on doing i'm gonna take like a few inks i was Considering doing it by brand, but like these diamine inks, like that's a lot of ink. Like, I don't, like, do you guys want to see a, a two, four, six, eight, nine plus my um, big bottle? Like, do you want to see like nine inks or just play with all of them? That'll be like a hundred year long video. Um, some of you guys like that though, so I don't know. You guys let me know. 
Um, or like even all these Robert Ostrings, like that's so many. Um, so thinking about like doing it by brand or if I only have like a couple inks for a couple of brands where I have like, like gather like five or six inks and like do my thing with them. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, let me know in the comments. Um, if you have any suggestions about how I can maybe like make this a little better or um, whatever, I'm open to it. Um, yeah. So um, um, mostly I just want to say thank you, Pen Pen Robert, for sending the lovely inks that I um, got to swatch today. And thank you, um, Creepy Nibs, for um, existing and being around and letting me take the ink that I sent you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm going to be coming back soon with um, some inky things and some stuffs. Um, yeah. So it's, yeah, I've enjoyed my break, but I did not intend to be gone like a whole, well, I mean, I wasn't really gone a whole week because the first three days had videos. So really it's only been a few days. Anyway, it seems like forever, but yeah. So that's kind of what we're going to do. Explore all this in August and, or July and August and probably September because 30 inks will be here. Um, so yeah, so yeah, looking forward to it. And um, yeah. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Take care. Love you. Bye.